A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and guys today we are going to examine is man a carnivore, an omnivore or a herbivore. Let's examine some facts. Let me ask you a question. Why do you think the legs of a human are taller and stronger and thicker than his arms? The answer is very simple. That's because nature designed it so. Nature does not make a mistake. Nature knows that the legs need to carry the weight around, weight of the body around. Uh, a man has to use them for walking long distances and running and thus they have to be a lot stronger than the arms which are supposed to pull, push or carry something. And they can afford to be a bit weaker. So it makes sense, right? Similarly, let's examine a man's anatomy, his physiology, his psychology to see whether he's actually a carnivore, omnivore or a herbivore. Now let's talk about uh, the human psychology first. A carnivore's frame of mind is totally geared for hunting and killing. Man's frame of mind is compassionate, friendly and reveres life. When the lion spots another furry animal, something might instinctively click in his head that tells him to hurry up and get dinner. When a man spots a furry animal, rather than show his, rather than show his children how to take its life, kill it and eat it, a more likely instinct is to pull over, get the camera out and take a picture. Put a baby chick and an apple in a crib with a six month year old baby what will he instinctively attempt to eat and play with? I'm sure the answer is very simple. I personally do not salivate at the side of a rabbit or a baby chick, but I feel like reaching out to him and cuddling him. The very idea of killing any living being disgusts me. Moreover, carnivores and omnivores thrive on a high fat diet, relish it and tolerate it well. Man on the other hand, and other herbivores can't tolerate a high fat, high cholesterol diet very well and develop arterial plaque, atherosclerosis or in simple words, narrowing of the blood vessels. Okay. Herbivores have flattened nails or blunt hoofs. Carnivores have razor sharp claws. The difference between the nails is again to do with the type of food that they eat. Carnivores need to stalk and kill their prey in order for them to consume their flesh. And these claws help them to inflict as much damage as possible to render their prey helpless. Humans, unlike carnivores, kill by proxy or have someone else kill animals for them. Humans also need tools to kill while the carnivores are self-sufficient and though they don't need any external tools. Carnivores have short pointed canines and long sharp curved incisors. This allows them to tear through the skin, muscle and ligaments and help them chew the meat for from their prey. Omnivores which is meat eaters and plant eaters. Teeth are similar to that of the carnivore. On the other hand, herbivores and humans have broad, flat canines that are shaped in the form of spades and a short, dull and, and short dull incisors. This allows them to grind the fibers found in plants and crush seeds and grains consume during their lifetime. Carnivores jaws move up and down with minimal sideways motion. They also have a larger mouth openings in ratio to their head size. This is because carnivores do not just use their mouths to eat. In fact, most carnivores utilize their razor sharp teeth when they attack their prey to bring them down. The jaw motion of an omnivore is similar. These are tools that are useful for the task of shearing, ripping and tearing flesh and swallowing it whole. Omnivores swallow their food whole and or with simple crushing. Whereas herbivores jaws cannot shear but have good side to side and back to front motion. These are tools that are useful for extensive chewing 
crushing and grinding of nails and other fiber, high fiber foods. Animal flesh cannot be crushed, ground and chewed. With the tools God gave a man, a human, without some degenerating process such as cooking or frying. Due to the fact that herbivores merely eat plant seeds and grains, their mouth opening is relatively small in ratio to, to their head size and you can very clearly see that humans do not have a very big mouth opening. A carnivore saliva is acidic, does not contain any digestive enzymes. Man's as well as other herbivores saliva is alkaline, contains carbohydrate digesting enzymes like and also called amylase. Humans lack protein and fat receptors on the tongue which is present uh, you know to they cannot really taste the meat the flesh unless meat is cooked with salt spices and condiments it would taste disgusting to him carnivores relish their flesh raw a carnivore's stomach secretes powerful digestive enzymes with about 10 times the amount of hydrochloric acid than a human or a herbivore. The pH is less than or equal to 1 with food in the stomach for a carnivore or an omnivore. For humans or other herbivores, the pH ranges from 4 to 5 with food in their stomach. Hence, man must prepare his meats with laborious cooking or frying methods. Ascaracea coli bacteria, salmonella, Campylobacter, Tushina worms, parasites, or other pathogens would not survive in the stomach of a lion. Carnivores or omnivores, small intestine, intestine is three to six times the length of its trunk. This is a tool designed for rapid elimination of food that rots quickly. Man's as well as other herbivores, small intestines are 10 to 12 times the length of their torso and winds itself back and forth in random directions. This is a tool designed for keeping food in it for long periods of time so that all valuable nutrients and minerals can be extracted before it enters the large intestine. Car carnivore and omnivore's large intestine is relatively short and simple like a pipe. This passage is also relatively smooth and runs fairly straight so that fatty waste high in cholesterol can easily slide out before they start to putrefy. Man's as well as other herbivores large intestines or colons are puckered and pouched and an apparatus that runs in three directions ascending, tra uh, traversing and descending. Designed to hold waste that originally were foods high in water content. This is so that the fluids can be extracted from these ways now that all the useful nutrients and minerals have been extracted in the long journey through the small intestine is over substances high in fat and cholesterol that have been putrefying for us during this long stay in the small intestine tend to get stuck in the pockets that line the large intestine also remember animal flesh com is composed uh, mostly of uh, high complex type of protein that exists uh, which requires vast amounts of uric acid to process uric acid is released into the systems uh, in the system in amounts necessary to break proteins down into amino acids uric acid is a toxic substance responsible for the aging process and must be flushed out and dealt with this is one of the jobs of the liver in relative terms a carnivore's liver is, is, is a tool designed with the capacity to eliminate 10 times as much uh, uric acid as the liver of a man or other plant eater.